we got to remember that the slope here is the angle of this line. So here is our, our slope angle, which is actually going to equal the rise, which is the y change, and the run, which is the x change. Okay, so when we're thinking about this change thing, we can use this triangle thing. It's really the rise is the change in y over the change in x, where the triangle means change. Okay, which ends up equally this formula right here, which you will use a lot. y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. But where do those come from? Well, I'll show you they came from this 4 and 5, or this point, is actually my x1 comma y1. And this point down here is actually my x2 comma y2. Two. And if you understand these things, you'll understand how to find the slope.